So in this one, what I'm going to do is set up the add-on sun position, and that just allows us to follow the path of the sun during the day as it travels around our house, okay? So if I come into camera view, you can quickly take a look. So you can see the shadow it casts at the different times of the day if we control this slider here. So very cool add-on in Blender. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do really is come out of camera view. So I'm just going to press zero and I want to find the light in the scene. Okay, so we have a lamp in here. So if I come over to the outliner and just scan down through this, I can find my lamp. And if I come over to the layer tab, I can see that layer one is highlighted, but it's switched off. So I'm going to switch on the visibility and just zoom out here. What I might do is with the lamp selected, I'm just going to press delete and delete that. So that's gone. So what I want to do then is zoom back in here. I'm going to press Shift A and under lamp, I'm going to add a sun lamp and that gets added to the 3D cursor. So in the last tutorial, we just quickly enabled the add on sun position. So if I come up here and say file user preferences, this one here, so 3D view sun position, enable that, save your settings. I'm just going to X that down. So this is a very useful add on in Blender. If you come over to the world settings and come down here to sun position we can click enable all right and that gives us a couple of options now the one thing is there should be a map here with this but for some reason it doesn't show up when i open it if i just drag this up here and i have a look in here we can see that we have a map we have a world map according to the blender wiki the map should be down here underneath this but for some reason it's it's not, it's not a big deal. It's really just to get the coordinates quickly, uh, the latitude and the longitude, but uh, it's not, it's not going to be a big deal. I'm just going to close that back down and switch off the show map. So what we want to do really is use an object. In this case, we're going to use the sun object. So I'm just going to click use object and you can see straight away that our sun has moved position. So if I just zoom out here, you can take a look and it's gone back to the center of the grid. So if I just press seven, it's off over here, whereas our house is at the 3D cursor there. So the next thing I want to do is come over to distance and you can see it's 50 meters and that's just the rotation point of the sun. So it's going to rotate from a pivot point of 50 meters away. I'm just going to increase that to three kilometers is the maximum. So I'm going to type in 3K just so you can see this a little bit better. And if I change the time of the day, you can see that the sun is going to rotate. It's going to right click there for a second and zoom out a little bit more and just increase the time. So from zero hours right the way around all day. Okay, I'm just gonna right click, select everything in the scene in relation to the house and move the house to the center of the grid, just so we can get to see this a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the layer tab and I'm gonna switch on all of these layers. So everything is on in the scene. I'm gonna press Z and bring up wireframe and I'm gonna press A once or twice and select everything. And if I press shift S and cursor to center, we can see where the center is when I zoom in here. So I'm just going to zoom in and we can see that our house is here. It's that small bunch of vertices and stuff there. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and I'm going to box select just to make sure everything is selected there. I can box select a few times. Okay. And I'm just going to press G. I'm going to drag this over here towards the center of the grid. There's a couple of little dots down there. I'm not sure what they are. They don't look important. Okay. So if I come over here, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to press G and I'm just going to line this up roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. It's just, it's in that vicinity. Okay. So everything is moved here. The camera is moved in all our other cameras. So everything is here. Okay. So I'm going to press one for front view. And what I'm going to do is move this up. So the mesh is sitting on the red line here. So I'm going to press G and Z and just move that up there. Something like this. It's again, it's not too important. So I'd be happy enough with that. Just going to press A to deselect and I can press Z, come back to solid. Okay. I can zoom in over here. Okay. So our house is there somewhere. The other thing I want to do actually is just switch off now the backup, the templates. I'm going to switch off these layers that we don't need. The camera, the ground floor plan, the elevations, etc four and five, layer 10. So now if I press seven, I can come up here. I can actually press Z and come up to wireframe and zoom out. And what I'm going to do again, it's going to click in the time and you see the sun resets and now it's, it's going to rotate around our house. So if I zoom out slightly so we can get the time of day. So I'm just going to right click. 
Now the other thing I want to do is get the latitude and the longitude. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just open up the browser and I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to pick a location and it's actually similar to where I got the, the original mesh from. So if I select this here, you can see up here we get our coordinates. So I'm just going to copy this. So control C, I'm just going to drag this over. And in the latitude, I'm just going to control V that and come back here, get the second point of this. So it's going to be the negative 7.113, etc, etc. Control C and control V. And I'm also going to switch on daylight saving. It doesn't make a big difference. You can also set the year. So it's 2018 and the day, okay, which is the 12th. So now if I press zero, I'm just going to come back press Z and come back to material maybe. I can actually press Z and come to rendered. And I can come here to the time. I'm gonna increase this from 12, we're gonna be one o'clock here. It's gonna turn down the strength here for this, 0.5. And if I come to the sun and the settings here on this, I can increase this maybe, for the moment anyway, I can just increase this to two. Just so we can see the shadow a little bit better because I'm not actually getting it properly. So now I can come back to world I'm just going to go forward maybe to 13 or 14. You can see the shadow then disappears around the house as the sun is coming around here. So if I come back down to maybe 10, you can see the shadow grows as the sun goes back around that direction. So this is very cool if you want to do some calculations on position of your house in relation to the sun during the day. And that's just really the basic setup of it. It's a very cool feature in Blender, but I think for the moment that's going to do it. <music>